Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And 30 years on from Manila, the legendary Smokin' and Joe Frazier is still in the same gym where he trained for his brutal battle with Muhammad Ali. Now it's like uh, 34, 34 years later. I feel good. Get back. <laughs> so. <laughs> the fighters arrived in a country tearing itself apart. Communist rebels had risen up against the extravagant and corrupt dictatorship of the Marcos regime. It's uh, it's not what it was my idea, you know, between maybe Don King and let's say whoever the guy who put it together. Well, just not just went the back guy. I went to the president and and talked to him about giving him a license. Uh, so he can fight. Frazier was able to take control of the fight. By round five, he began to dominate, smothering Ali on the ropes and hammering him with vicious left hooks. When I went there and asked the President Nixon, would he please give him his license, I want to dust him off. <laughs> so therefore he said, all right, Joseph, I'll take care of it. So that, that's what I've done for him so far. <laughs> he was just making a lot of noise, you know? And I, I guess what the whole thing about, look back on the guys who he fought over the years, they probably were nervous, they probably was afraid. We would call that turncoat. <laughs> a guy like wishy-washy, that's turncoat. I'm not a snake, I'm not a tom. Uh, riding around in the cars together from Philadelphia to New York, gave him the money, and he got out of the car and went off on me. Joe Frieder, that's him. He got my title. I want to fight Joe Frieder. I want to fight Joe Frieder. Take it easy, man. You have a heart attack. So <laughs> so he goes through life like that, you know, and I, I've done all I can for him. And, and, let's, and if it's something else I can do now to, to help him get better, I'll do that, you know. He betrayed Joe uh, big time. But I feel to myself that, uh, you know, like, uh, in his doing, he probably didn't think he betrayed Joe. He just think that he was a better man than Joe, you know? No, I'm not mad. I mean, uh, everybody, like, around the world want to make it bad, you know what I mean? Because uh, who was along with him, uh, they lost a lot of money. I said, Lord, I want you to give me the strength, the power to know how to kill this scam boy. Challenger enters the ring to a really good reception. He, his mouth made him uh, felt like he was going to win, not his hand. I had my hand, he had his lips.